Hey everybody, this is uh, Zoran Theodorovic, a.k.a. the Mighty Z of uh, Capital Chaos TV and Metal Gods Radio. We have uh, Jennifer from Beyond the Black on the phone. How are you doing this morning, Jennifer? Yeah, everything's fine, my side. Uh, everyone's safe. Uh, my family, my band members, everyone's good, so I'm good as well. Uh, what's new pos- in, in positive developments in uh and where in you are you in Germany, right? Yes, we're in Germany, and we have a very good situation right now. Uh, so if you can say good, but um, yeah, everything's getting better and better. And um, you can watch the people outside that they are not like all the time thinking about everything, and that is maybe something good in a when you think about positive, more positive things. So um, yeah. For for us, everything's fine, and we don't have to worry about a lot of things right now. But, yeah, you know that from day to day, everything can change. But, um, yeah, now it's, everything is fine. And uh, do you feel that it's important to wear a mask when you're out in public? Of course. Um, I think it depends on where you are and how close you are to other people, of course. But um, when you are in like shop or something, I think definitely it is good to wear a mask because you're you're protecting others with wearing a mask, not yourself, but others is good enough for me. So um, yeah, and I'm I'm really listening to a lot of things. Um, what these things that we are actually doing are really helping and what is not really helping and all that stuff so i really try to understand what is happening and i think that masks are really a good thing uh, when you are like close to other people have you uh gotten a chance to watch uh, what's going on here in america with the riots and the protests do you have a a feeling a, a, a an opinion about that at all feeling i saw a lot of things um, also because I know why all of this is happening or what was the first thing that was going over all over the world. And I posted already something about this um, because I couldn't believe it. So, um, yeah, I think um, this is this is horrible. I don't like um, that. Um, how do you say that in English? I, I like when people go on the streets and fight for their rights, um, even if I don't like violence. So, um, But I think that most of the people uh, that are fighting for their rights don't, don't like the violence stuff right. there. So, um, yeah, that I think that uh, you can see also in Germany that there are a lot of people um, that tell the others to not do like all of that bad stuff and just fight for the rights, go to the streets. And I really, I really like that. And um, I hope that this gives a chance to, to change something. Absolutely. And now, uh, how did you first get into music? Was it through TV, radio or parents? Can you repeat that? Sorry. Uh, how did you first get into music? Was it through your, uh, through your parents? Yeah, I, I would say um, yes, um, because what my, my mother was actually playing guitar and singing herself um, for herself more. And my, my father was playing keyboards, so they were into music and they were listening to music a lot. So um, I think I got a lot from them, but um, I think that also, they never did like music in so many or they didn't want to make music for um, getting money or anything like that. So uh, they they focused on other th- uh, things. And I was the only one that was so into music that I said, OK, I will do something about that and make money out of that and um, just doing music all of my life. So, um, yeah, but I, I definitely think that my mom was the first one that um, saw that I'm pretty talented. So I, um, yeah, she, she went uh, or she, she was the reason why I had the chance to try things out very early. And uh, my father as well, 
they always are supporting me. They are still coming to concerts, even if I know that, um, for example, my mom is not the biggest metal fan, <laughs> but she likes all that Beyond the Black is doing. So, um, yeah, yeah. The, they are super supportive since I'm, yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> what was your uh, first rock concert? <clears throat> wow, that is a good question. Um, to be honest, I didn't go a lot to concerts um in the past more now but to sm more to smaller concerts because it's more interesting if i don't know what comes next um but i i was not i was more into doing concerts as going to concerts so oh. um but hmm what was the first one i'm not sure but i definitely know that the first rock festival was was um in in a small you don't know that it's uh it's called how's it called again uh rock hotel schlackel it's, it's a german german thing and then it's very small but i like that and i think there was the time when i got like the first impressions of of um rock bands and all of that stuff yeah do you uh do you like pop music like uh Post Malone, Ariana Grande and uh, Billie Eilish? I love Billie Eilish, uh but I don't like like every pop music, uh but I definitely I am open to every genre in this world. Um because I think there are always like super amazing songs in every genre. So um, yeah, I love Billie Eilish and um, also Phil Collins, <laughs> for example. Ah, yeah. Um, yes, and um, I love Queen. I love Paramore. Um, I love also, of course, Within Temptation. I love um, Evanescence since I'm 14, I think. So um, a lot of different stuff. And uh, the new album is Horizons. Uh, it's album number four. Is that right? Yes, that's right. It, uh, it sounds fabulous. You must be very proud of yourself. We are proud, definitely. I think uh, for me, it feels like the best album we ever wrote. So, um, yeah, I'm proud. And that that is also because um, or, yeah, why I'm so, so excited to finally release it, because we had some singles out now um, since three months and um these were a lot of different kind of songs and um, showing totally different faces of this album so and now i think the people can really understand what this album is about when they are listening from top to to the till the end and um uh, my my favorite song uh, i think i told you before at the moment is some kind of monster i really really mm. like that song uh, do you have a favorite at the moment? At the moment, I would say my favorite is Human. I think one reason why I like this song so much was because I believed in that song since it was like just acoustic guitar and, and vocals. And it was such a deepness inside of that song um, that I didn't feel in other songs when they were in that status. Um, and I know that because uh, the guys, my boys, they didn't believe in that song <laughs> at first. But I said, okay, whatever you say, I love that song. We will do that. Um, and in the end, we can decide to not do it if it's not good. But um, yeah, I, I want to do something about this. And um, I'm super, super, yeah, proud that it's good for me. <laughs> I really love that song. As long as you're happy, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, when you when you're when you're writing a song, uh, how do you how do you decide to to walk away from it? Like, how do you decide that this is it? This song is is complete. Um, I think this has two sides. I think one side is that you have a deadline and you have one day that you have to decide, decide um, this is finished now. <laughs> yeah, and I think this is 
also one thing that is um, most of all the time, or I, I say it differently, um, for other albums, previous albums, we didn't have as much time as this time. So this time it was much, um, yeah, not not that easy to decide when it's finished. <laughs> so we did really a lot of detail stuff in the end and all of that things again and again. And one thing, one song, we um, I think we changed the whole uh, process and the whole um, producing I don't know if you say it like that in English, but um, we changed the whole song like two days before we had to finish it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this happens also. So, um, super different situation. Uh, do you enjoy the recording studio? Um, I think this is one of the reasons why I love to make music. Uh, when I'm standing in this vocal booth and just singing the songs and try to put every emotion that I have into these songs. Um, these are the moments that I love the most in my life. Now, I, I believe that the new single is uh, Wounded Healer with uh, uh, Elise of Amarant. Is that correct? That is, that is the current single, right? Since one month or something. How did, uh, how did, how did uh, it come about uh, that Elise would sing on that particular song? Um, first of all, uh, we had in our minds to maybe tour together and I got to know her then and, um, she was so funny and a bit chaotic. So I love that. <laughs> and I, I just asked her if she wants to do that. And, uh, she loved the song. And for me, I, I, we wrote all of these songs before I could ask her. So, um, I had to choose from these ideas, uh, but I think, this is also one song that I thought could fit really good to her voice, but also maybe shows another side of her voice. And um, this is also what I'm always trying to do, to show different sides of my voice. And I thought it could maybe be cool for her as well. And I think for me personally, um, it is really amazing what she did and um, definitely good for the song. And I know that you have or had a tour scheduled with Amaranth. Uh, is that still um, is that still on tentatively at least? It is just postponed. So we play that tour in April next year. Okay, we look forward to seeing that. That's uh, that's quite a lineup. Yeah. Um, that would be it would be amazing to play that, but we we're still uh, trying to play this. Um, yeah, in the end of the year, but one week ago or two, we decided. Okay, everyone feels more comfortable when we just postpone it to next year, and we saw that that the people are now they they are not afraid anymore to buy tickets. So this is really that was the right decision, I think. And uh, what do you do for vocal fatigue? Any special remedies? Um, I think as um, hmm. <laughs> uh, I did not do much um, since I think a year uh, because for me it was always like if if I understood that question right, um, I think. For me, it was always the most important thing that um, people can feel my emotions and not just technique. So um, I always try to, yeah, to get everything out of my my body to to get all of the emotion and mo more imperfect stuff than too perfect stuff. So um, yeah, I don't do a lot of practicing at home, uh, but I definitely sing a lot. <laughs> so yeah. That is how I'm doing that. And, uh, oh, excellent. And uh, what album would you say epitomizes your style of music over all others? Um, I think we are definitely a band that is open for things that metal bands maybe are not allowed to do. <laughs> so um, uh, what uh, people say metal bands are not allowed to do 
So um, we don't, we trust ourselves. We just do what we want to do. And it's, of course, a bit more modern, maybe a bit more pop elements than other bands have or um, more, more, yeah, more open to, to other things. And this maybe makes us more different than other bands. Well, uh, thank you for your time. I just have uh, one more question for you, uh, at least not really a question. Do you have any final thoughts to anybody that might be uh, listening to this? For me, final thoughts. Um, I really hope that you get the positivity of that album because I think the people need that right now so hard. And um, yeah, just enjoy the album. I would really love to read all the comments. What is your favorite song? Because this is super different to everyone. And I am, this is, yeah, super uh, interesting for me. And we definitely hope to come uh, to a concert one day. Um, and yeah, hope to see all of you there. Thank you for your interest.